doesn't have a lexile listed. So not every single article or source has a lexile attached to it. So when you're only searching by lexile, your searches are going to be a lot more limited than if you did an all lexile search. Because no matter what I did or what lexile I searched for, this article would never pop up because it doesn't have a lexile attached. Lastly, I'm going to show you what you're going to see when you click on a result. Now there are two ways that an article can be given to you on search a source. It can be an HTML full text, and HTML means it's on the internet, and PDF means that it's downloadable. So if I clicked on PDF full text, I'm going to get something that looks somewhat like a newspaper and I'm going to have my article about Kevin Durant being the MVP. Now I can just read this and when you're on your iPads most of you are just going to be reading different articles or you can email it so if I click email I can type in an email I want to send it to and your students can talk a little bit more about um, what emails they should be sending that to. But if your students are working on a laptop and they log in with their own username and password, I would recommend them saving the articles that they feel like gives them the best information to their computer. And in order to do that, I'm going to go back. If I clicked on HTML full text, for example, if I go to print, I don't want to print this because that may waste a lot of papers. However, this is automatically going to pop up once I click print. So down here, and this is something you can do on a Macintosh, save as PDF. This will pop up. You can go ahead and save it to your desktop, but then you don't have to print it. So this is something that I recommend if students are using a laptop. Again, I just showed you how to print that if it was a HTML full text, but you can do the same if it is a PDF. Again, you could actually just go straight here to save. You wouldn't have to click save as a PDF because it already is a PDF. So I could just go ahead and click save and then it's going to save it and I can retitle it to my desktop or documents or Dropbox or some other place. Again, once I click on a, on a source, it's going to tell me the authors, it's going to tell me the source, the type it is, is it an article, is it from a newspaper, is it a script? But this right here are the subjects. So these are things that have been tagged, kind of like hashtags, to this article from someone else has done this for us. So after I'm looking at this article, I may be like, oh, well, I actually want to know about the basketball playoffs. Or I actually want to know about basketball techniques. So you can go ahead and click on these phrases, and it's going to take you to a whole new area. So those are your suggested search terms or things that are related to the article that you saw. The abstract is just like a paragraph summarizing the main points of the article. So you can read the abstract first to figure out, is this article actually going to help me in the research that I'm doing? You're also going to have the article down here. As you can see, the words that I searched for, Kevin Durant and MVP, when I searched for this article, are all in bold to show me that that's where they appear. Okay, now the other thing I want to show you is it says find more like this. So let's say you really like this article and you wonder if there's some that are really similar. I can click this. Now for this particular article, only one article showed up. So it's not really going to help me. But it is an option there for you. Now we have focused on only searching and typing in search term terms, but you do have these images down here. So I'm going to try to get to the same information I've gotten to with the pictures. So if I click on sports, I've looked for Kevin Durant who plays basketball, and then I've gotten some things 
here. But I know Kevin Durant is a person, so I could click on biographies, because I know a biography has information about a person's life. But if I scroll through these, there's only 10, I can see that there is not a biography about Kevin Durant. So earlier when I was searching about Kevin Durant, and I had thousands and thousands of entries, but let's say I just really wanted a biography. This is some way that I could get there quickly and know that there is not a biography on here for Kevin Durant. Again, Search a Source is a great resource. Remember to use the words and, not, and or in your, in your searches, and I just want to remind you of that in a really quick way. We've been typing a lot about Kevin Durant being the MVP, and we've seen lots and lots of results. I'm just going to type in Kevin Durant MVP. I only have two results. Now, if I go back and use the keyword I've been talking about, and I have 500 results. So again, don't forget to use the words and, or, and not, and don't forget to try and get more specific, and I hope you have a great time researching.